I'm going to show you how to make frozen bananas that are dipped in chocolate. To make these frozen bananas that are dipped in chocolate, first you start off with the bananas. I cut them in half before I peeled them, then I peeled them. And I bought these popsicle sticks at Joann's. You can probably find them at Michael's or Hobby Lobby. They were not at the party store, by the way. And while the bananas are still fresh and not frozen, I'm going to stick a stick into each one pretty far. And I have a cookie sheet tray that will fit into my freezer and a piece of wax paper. So I'm going to put a stick into all of them now. Whoops. <laughs> I'm doing it left-handed. That was dumb. I'm right-handed. Okay, so this one's breaking. So we just learned a lesson, everybody. <laughs> Maybe when it freezes, it'll freeze together. So this is a new project for me that I've never tried. So you want to carefully put the stick in and not go through. So that's part of the trick. Uh, I don't know if that one's salvageable. But actually I'm going to turn it so that I can use my right hand. I don't want to do that again. And um, after these are in the freezer and frozen, which I'm probably going to let them freeze overnight, then I'll dip them in chocolate and freeze them again. Okay, so now the sticks are in there. And by the way, I'm using bananas that are ripe. The um, They weren't just yellow. They had the brown spots on them, which is the most delicious they can be when they already have the brown spots. So now these are ready to go into the freezer and I'm going to freeze them overnight. To melt the double chocolate we're going to make a double boiler. So I have a medium sized pan here with some water in it and I'm going to put the heat on high for now and then I'm going to put a metal bowl on top of this. And then we're going to use semi-sweet chocolate. So you can use chocolate chips if you want. You can use, um, let's see, I have some Baker's chocolate here too. You can use semi-sweet candy uh, that you get from the candy section. A lot of the, um, I don't want to say, a lot of the um, craft stores have a candy section now. So you can use this. Um, these only come in four ounce bags. Um, now the amount that you do, I'm just eyeballing it um, and I'm putting it into the ball here. Um, the thing is, if you're just going to dip the frozen bananas, you're going to wind up with a lot of chocolate left over and then think about another thing that you want to do with the extra. Or you can just, once it melts, you can pick it up with a spoon and drizzle it on. Then the other thing I'm going to do is put about a teaspoon of um, Crisco in here or in the candy section of the um, craft stores, you can buy a little bit of paraffin, which is used for candy making. So I'm going to melt that now. Once the water starts to simmer, I'll turn down the heat so it doesn't boil too much. And we'll come back when the chocolate is melted. The chocolate is melted now. I use a silicone pot holder to hold the side of the bowl. So you can see the consistency here. I want it to be kind of drippy. That's the thing. I don't want it to be overly thick. And now we're ready to coat the bananas. When you take the frozen bananas out of the freezer, don't pick them up with the stick. Actually pull them off by touch, holding the banana so you don't pull the stick out. And now we're ready to coat them. Alright, so I didn't want to make so much chocolate and have a lot left over. So how you dip it kind of depends on how much chocolate you have. And that's why I have the spoon here. Like maybe I'll just... <laughs> Spoon some of it over, and I don't want it to be too thick, right? 
I know somebody who doesn't like it when we say right at the end of a sentence. Anyway. Alright. So that's all I'm going to do for that. And I'm going to set it back where I had it. I can kind of twirl and get my finger in hot chocolate at the same time. So if you have any ideas for leftover melted chocolate when we're doing something like this, please write it in the comment section. I'd like to know what that is. Okay, I'm checking every side and then laying it down. I'm going to be putting these back into the freezer. You see that kind of sort of? Okay, the less chocolate there is, the harder it is to do this. So I'm just kind of swirling the banana around. to not be such an amateur. But that's why I do these videos, because I'm an amateur. Alright, so you get the idea. And I don't want the chocolate to get overcooked, so I'm going to turn down the heat. Bring the banana in chocolate starts to get a little bit um, having um, a texture to it and I think it's because it's getting too hot but that's just me because then it doesn't like to stick to this hmm very interesting I used to do this with chocolate chips melted and um, strawberries all the time so but I don't remember it getting this texture to the melted chocolate it was always really smooth I'm actually gonna turn the heat off so some of you who know more about melted chocolate than I do Okay, don't even look at this one. <laughs> this is when YouTube becomes a comedy. A comedy show. Oh my gosh. I think I'll be eating that one. Okay, so now I'm going to put them back in the freezer. And um, after they've frozen, I'm probably going to wrap them, but we'll do that next. After the bananas have frozen again with the chocolate on them, I'm going to wrap each of them in a piece of plastic wrap, tightly of course, and I have one more to go here, and before I put them in the freezer, I'm going to put them in a small Ziploc freezer bag. couple at a time. Let's, let's see how many fit in a bag. I have a quart size freezer bag here. And let's see. I'm going to be able to get a few. I think we're going to do three per Ziploc bag. And then I'll store them in the freezer. And then they're easy to just take one out when you want to eat one. Um, these are really going to be good. If you prefer milk chocolate, then use milk chocolate. Um, I would suggest instead of like getting Hershey bars and melting Hershey bars, that you go to the baking section of the grocery store or go to a store like Michael's or Hobby Lobby or Joann's or one of those that has a candy section and look for milk chocolate there that's meant for candy making and dip them in milk chocolate. Again, I use semi-sweet with this, which would be considered a dark chocolate.